Julia Hartley Brewer at breakfast on Talk Radio. Well, good morning to you. Thank you very much indeed for your company. I really, really appreciate you joining me this morning. Um, it's a, another lovely, sunny, sweltering hot day and it's another day in lockdown. And I've just got a little message for all those people who think that we're not in lockdown. And just four more weeks, not really an issue. Don't worry about it because it's just four more weeks and we can already live our normal lives. So what's the big deal? Well, I'll tell you why it is a big deal. Um, because the reason it's a big deal is that actually this is still a massive curtailment of people's lives, a massive curtailment of people's ability to make a living, to live freely, a massive curtailment to our democracy, to our freedoms, uh, to our, uh, our our relationship with the state as individuals who, who don't get told everything they can and can't do uh, by the state even before we think about doing it. So I've got a message for all those people out there who think that people wanting an end to lockdown don't care about their fellow citizens and are selfish. Because I, I get that a lot. Oh, you're selfish because you want an end to lockdown. Um, here's my message to you. Because if you do support an extension to this lockdown, you think it's the right thing just to be uh, safe. You think it's right to be cautious and just wait a few more weeks um, because, well, you're not that bothered and you can already have six people in your home. Or, yeah, who cares? You can still go to the pub. I want you to know that you are the selfish one. If you think you're a good person because you believe health matters more than wealth, but you refuse to accept that health and wealth go hand in hand and you cannot have one without the other, you are the selfish person. If you continue to ignore the pleas of the 5 million people on NHS waiting lists for surgery or the 300,000 who didn't get cancer referrals uh, because you demanded that the NHS only treated COVID patients, you are the selfish person. And if you don't care about the millions of jobs that have been lost or are right now on hold, on furlough, the businesses in many thousands of pounds worth of debt, owing rent, bounce back loans and furlough cash just to stay open or reopen and never have a chance of breaking even with social distancing rules, you are the selfish person. And if you don't care about the rights of millions of people in this country who want to visit their close family living abroad but can't afford to self-isolate, to get to test that costs hundreds of pounds three times and miss a week of paid work on return, you are the selfish person. And if you think that millions of young people should have their lives, their livelihoods and, yes, their chance to find love wrecked just because you want to be 100% safe from a virus that we'll never be 100% safe from, you are the selfish person. And if you've been supporting lockdown while you've been working from home, sitting in your pyjamas on Zoom, while you happily require other people to go out to work to make and deliver your orders from Amazon, Deliveroo and Ocado, I'm afraid you are the selfish person. And if you're happy for lockdown to continue because your life's pretty much back to normal, well, you didn't really like going to pubs and restaurants that often anyway, and well, frankly, it's a good excuse not to go and visit uh, the family, and you weren't that bothered about going abroad this summer. You are the selfish person. Stop pretending you're the nice people, the selfless people who've sacrificed so much. This isn't about giving up ski holidays or or getting to uh, give up your daily commute. This is about people losing their jobs, losing their businesses, losing seeing their families and losing, crucially, their freedom to decide what they do, when they do it, with whom they do it and where. The freedom to be a free citizen in this democracy. We need to end this lockdown. We need to end it now. We need to get back to normal life. We need to do what the Prime Minister keeps telling us we should do, which is learn to live with this virus. If people want to spend the rest of their lives hiding under the bed, they are free to do so. But they've got no right to selfishly demand that the rest of us have to do it too. Stop being selfish and let us be free. 7.11 is the time. Um, Steve Allen is joining me all this morning. I'll get his thoughts on what my next guest has to say in just a couple of moments. Uh, Professor David Payton is a professor of industrial economics at Nottingham University.